Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you this matte eyes and lip look that I've been really loving wearing lately using the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette and MAC Mer lipstick. So first off, I always like to prep my lips with a lip balm. This one is the Vanilla Mint Scent from EOS. Next, I'm using the Nivea Post Shave Balm as a primer, which I also did a first impression on recently. To prime the eyes, I'm using the Urban Decay Original Primer Potion. Next, on to brows. So firstly, I always use a spoolie to brush them out so I can see my shape better. I then go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pomade in soft brown to fill in the majority of my brows. I then use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in soft brown just to define them a little bit more. To finish and to make them last longer, I fill in any gaps with a bit of MAC Wedge Eyeshadow. Then to clean up the shape of the brows, I use a little bit of MAC Pro Conceal and Correct Palette in the light version. For the matte eyes, I've really been enjoying using the Naked 3 palette and for all over the eye, I'm using Strange with a fluffy brush. For the lid, I'm first using a base colour and I'm going to be using the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk and this is great because it helps the shadow stick and the colours to pop more. Next, I'm taking Limit and a fluffy brush. This is a MAC 217, and I'm swiping this all over the lid and up into the crease. To blend this colour out more, I'm just going back in with my original fluffy brush that I used for the base colour to help blend the two colours together. To build up the intensity, I went in with Nuna on a more tapered fluffy brush and I focused this mainly in the outer V, blending it in really well. Don't worry if you do get any eyeshadow fallout, you can just wipe this off after, that's why I always do the eyes first and then the foundation. Lastly, I just went back in with my MAC 217 fluffy brush and the base brush just to give everything one last blend out and to ensure there is no harsh lines. For foundation, I use my Makeup Forever HD foundation with this new F21 brush from Blank Canvas Cosmetics that I recently hauled. For concealer, I use my current favourite from Collection and this is the Lasting Perfection one and I just put this on sort of under the eye, on my nose and on my chin and then I blended this all out with a damp beauty blender. To set all the concealer, I used another one of my new brushes from Blank Canvas with the Rimmel Match Perfection Lease Powder. To set all my base, I just spritzed a bit of Urban Decay All Nighter. Once this was dry, I went back in and contoured using the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer in Light. I then blended this all out with my foundation brush. Thank you. 
To bronze up the face, I took my favourite bronzer of the moment from Physicians Formula and this was in medium to dark, but this is actually quite a light, really nice matte bronzer, so it looks lovely on the skin. I then, of course, made sure everything was blended in again using my foundation brush. For a pop of colour on the cheeks, I used the Physicians Formula Happy Booster Blush in Rose, and then I also made sure this was nicely blended out. So to set the brows, I used the Benefit Gimme Brow in Medium Deep. I absolutely love this because it has a really nice tiny brush so you can really get into the brows nicely. So for liner, I use my favourite brown gel liner from Maybelline in the upper and lower waterline as well as on the lash line. To intensify the brown liner in the waterline, I just went over it with the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eyeliner in Demolition. For the lower lash line, I went firstly in with the base of the NYX Glide On Pencil in Pure White. I then took Limit again and went over this um, and smudged it out. Then to make it pop that little bit more, I went over again with Nuna and just put that really into the lash line and then I just blended it all out with a fluffy brush. So for mascara, I've been loving using this combo of the Rimmel Lash Accelerator um, to start with on the lashes and then to finish and sort of really plump them up and make them big and long and luscious. I've been using the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes and this is just on the top lashes and then for the bottom, I've been going back in with the Rimmel Lash Accelerator. So for the lips, I first decided to use that new um, NYX lip liner that I bought in Mahogany just to line them and just to fill them in a little bit. And then I went in with, of course, MAC Mer, which is a really lovely matte shade. And this is very similar to MAC Brave, but obviously in a matte formula. Then finally, to set the whole makeup look, I just went back in with the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. So guys, thank you so much for watching and I really hope you enjoyed this easy matte makeup tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter for more inspiration. And if you missed my last two previous videos, go ahead and click on the picture links. Have a lovely start to the week guys and I will see you in my next video. Take care, bye.